Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this is Koka Manzoor uh, and today we are going to discuss how to check reliability in SPSS. Very simple and easy. Uh, let's start. Uh, this is the data that we have, right? Simply go to analyze. Here it's scale and reliability analysis. Okay. So simply we have So we'll select all these items of a variable let's suppose these are uh, 19 items in a variable so we'll simply shift it here click statistic these two boxes must be checked right item and scale if item deleted right so rest of the rest of the things uh, we don't need at the moment uh, it's sufficient just click continue and make sure if you want to see alpha we normally we use cron back alpha right you so alpha is selected and here okay so you see total 447 values no values excluded it's okay cron back alpha is 0 0.927 which is quite good right uh, if it is uh, greater than 0 0.7 so it is considered as good uh, total 19 items okay fair enough and uh, here uh, it's the mean and the standard deviation of all the items are given this is uh, important table item total statistic right this item uh, this column is very important uh, here you can see all the values are 0 0.927 0 0.923 924 and all these things. these values must be less than this value right 0.927 what does it mean? It means that if we delete GI6, our Cronback alpha value will reduce to 0 0.923. If we delete anything, I mean, and, uh, GIC11 or GIC16, you see, our Cronback alpha will reduce. Only this one is GIC, it will remain the same, 0 0.927. It's okay even. But if here you can see, let's say 0.96 or 0 0.98, then it means that that if we delete that particular statement the cron back alpha value can increase right so this column basically shows us that whatever or what if we delete any uh, any statement whether our cron back alpha value will reduce or increase so here all the values are less than it means if we delete any of the statement our cron back alpha might reduce to 0 0.923 or 0 0.924 so this means all these values are okay all the statements are okay so you simply what you can do is so you can take this table and copy and in word here you can paste it i've already done it see so here you can write that uh, there are total 19 items of the variable and uh, cron back alpha value is 0 0.927 which is quite good uh, since um, cron back alpha uh, value if cron back alpha value is more than 0 0.7 it is considered to be good so in this case there is no issue of reliability right similarly you can find cron back alpha for uh, other items as well like for example here we have um, scale reliability and we shift all these to this and we have another variable uh, gnn G and I and these are eight items in it, right? So we shift it. Similarly, statistic items are checked. Okay, okay. And you can have this. So it's also see 0.813. Totally eight items. Nothing is excluded. And here we can see, you see, it is 0.83813 here. 0 0.797777 means all the values are less than 0.813. All the values are less than this so means all these statements are okay so we are, we should not delete any statement because it will it may it will definitely reduce the uh, reliability of the instrument right so simply copy it and paste it in over right so i hope you got the concepts uh, if there is any question confusion or query so you can ask take care and see you uh, later inshallah